I think it's always significant when you show your commitment to taking care of the football. And certainly, ball security is something that we, as an offense, starting with me, uh, you know, has put an emphasis on this off season. You know, we, we had a blip on the radar last year in terms of an uptick in numbers. Uh, but I think it's a, a holistic approach. I think everybody has a, a hand in you know ball security, and I think that our receivers have done a nice job of being where they're supposed to be. I think. People are understanding the details and concepts of protection, finishing at the top of the pocket, giving him a place he can step up and deliver the ball. Uh, you know, certainly Ryan has made a commitment to ball security, but I think everybody has, uh, and, and I hope that that continues. You know, the, the couple of traits we're looking for is that play demeanor, that effort and finish, right, and that toughness to be able to play through the stalemate. And sometimes I think that we can get caught up on numbers and size. And, and not look at the whole body of work, uh, you know, of someone's character, their play character. And, uh, we definitely feel like we've got a competitive group. You know, they're fighting. Obviously, the front we're going against every day in practice is, is a challenge for us. Uh, but the way that we're you know, sticking to it and working through some of those techniques and fundamentals, you know, is, has been encouraging. So uh, I like where we're at there. Yeah, he's so physically gifted. You know, and I think sometimes when you have those tools, you can get away with things. Uh, at, at you know, the collegiate level. And I think he's starting to find out that, that some of those tight window throws, or if you're a little bit late on something, you can't necessarily just make up for it with ball speed, right? The, the, the DBs are gonna close that window a little bit faster. So there's a, a development there, right? There's a, a, a dependency on physical tools that sometimes needs to progress to you know, more of the footwork and, and listening to your feet, let your feet redirect your eyes, those types of things. But Malik's on, on a, a good trajectory. You know, he's had some learning experiences out there, uh, but he's a great kid with high character who comes in and, and wants to know the why. He wants to understand what occurred with the mistake, and, and then he generally makes a new one. So excited about where he's at. So far. Yeah, I'm excited to see his growth. You know, when we came back from the summer break and started to get into that pre-camp, I think still knocking a little rust off for figuring some things out, but he's been doing a great job of taking some of the coaching points that we're giving him and applying them to the next time he gets that opportunity. So when you have a young player like that, particularly when he misses the time in the spring, it, it's so important that he uses that time to build chemistry with the quarterback and you know to, to make sure that he's honed in on some of those details. So really excited to see his progression and the trajectory he's on, but you gotta stay hungry and, and stay at it. I, I think he's a much more mature player in year two. You know, you, you're seeing uh, a little bit more buy-in to some of the techniques we're asking him to try, things that might be a little different than, than he did collegiately. Uh, and, and you see a little bit more comfort and confidence. You know, he's throwing a more confident punch and, and he's certainly, uh, you know, having, having some, uh, Know, success and wins with it. So excited about where he's at, and I, you know I think he's working really hard to continue that that growth for. We've future. talked to Keith before about Dylan and kind of you know trusting what he's seen or trusting some of the techniques that you guys are trying to get across. H how big a difference has there been from year one to year two? Because I know that was still something that you guys were working on with him last year. Yeah, you know I, I know that Coach Bray was talking about this. The, the guy's an off-season award winner, right? He came in and, and worked his tail off and and has been committed to trying to improve in so many areas of, you know, that we've asked him to focus on. Everything from the physical development and stuff in the off season, you know, to, to buy in with individual and techniques and, and just, you know, the hard work has been really cool to see. It means a lot to him. It means a lot to Keith. It means a lot to me and everybody else in between. Uh, so it's fun when you hit that kind of chemistry where it all starts to come together. You know, we just got to keep our, our foot to the pedal on, on that development.